Hey morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Ken's Fishing. Why am I sitting in the car? Um, I've just arrived at uh, Sands Pit, Port Shepston and uh, Darren's forgotten his, his uh, headlamp this morning. Uh, needless to say, I've forgotten my cap this morning, so <laughs> we're off to a great start. Yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, Sheppy, Port Shepston, geez like. Uh, my hometown, I was born in Sheppey, some of you guys might know. And uh, in fact, yeah, I caught my first fish at the Amzumkulu, just behind me here. So excited, excited to be here this morning. We've been hearing about the cob, man. Cobtober started already. Yeah, I was saying, sorry, um, don't know what's wrong with this thing. Maybe too early in the morning for it. Cobtober, Cobtober, yeah, we a week week and a bit early for for Cobtober but reports man and and this is the thing we can't ignore man it's happening here at uh, at Sands Pit guys are getting nice cob on um, paddle tail um, chocker baits I think those are the two main baits yeah so and live bait sorry live mullet live mullet Good morning guys made it to the beach don't even need these lights anymore no, no, I went back for, for nothing <laughs> Morning, Darren. Morning, 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 guys. How's it, Marco? Are you? How's it? Welcome to uh, an episode of Ken's Fishing. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. I'm sure. I'm sure, and uh, we're gonna get all set. Um, Darren was kind enough to bring me a cap this morning, so maybe it's got some luck on this thing. Definitely, Who knows? definitely. Eh? It's got a, <laughs> it's got a cob written all over it. Ah, that's what we want. <laughs> that's what we want. Yeah. So, yo, stunning morning. Sea is nice and flat. Uh, we're fishing the full high already and I'll definitely show you some views when it's much lighter We're just underneath the Amzamkulu uh, bridge here yeah? Amzamkulu river to the... And if you can see that And it was supposed to be a 20k per hour southwesterly blowing this morning So what's happened to that bro? Yeah. It's 20k story. It's flat. There's non, non-existent. Not even a breath. Look no, at the, no. Look at the sea. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's flat. It's looking absolutely machine, man. Looking good. And the color. So obviously yeah. the um, Amzamkulu got pushing into the mouth are pushing in. But it is actually I can see in the distance. But uh, not much rain yet, so that's why it's still so clean. So yeah, the aim this morning is. Uh, obviously to have fun and relax and we'll take you along with us but uh, we want to catch some cob man we're gonna put some paddle tail some liveys some chocker whatever we can and try and get this cob uh, but any other fish will do eh? Darren's um, got his <laughs> coffee pot here this morning looking we forward some, to that we ground some uh... Some beans from Rwanda last night. Wow. So yeah. uh, it's called Huye Mountain Coffee. Yeah. So from, uh, from the Huye Mountains in Rwanda. That's what we're going to drink this morning. Jeez, lads. Well, Huye to the mountains in Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get some tackle on. So I got my bluefish back. And uh, in fact, I used it last week Sunday in that howling wind. East was really really pumping. Yesterday it was pumping as well. So really really happy to get my, my bluefish back. Oh yeah, oh what color is that bro? This is uh this is the pearl white. Okay, that looks cool. Pearl white ripple shad. It's very different to the McCarthy pearl, eh? It is I've huh? got those McCarthy pearls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. This is the Berkeley one. Yeah. So this box that you were um, bragging about last time, what happened, bro? What do you mean? What happened? It was so neat and tidy. Check here. Hey. Organized, Lani. This is my this is my tools. Yeah. Some side cutters, braid scissors, slide traces, a little bit of cotton. For my hooks and tray and swivels. Some circles and some soys and some big guns. A couple of three ways, some clip-ons. And there's something I want to show you. I'll show you later. And then this one here, 
It's got all the other paraphernalia, floats, dingles, earbuds, toothpicks, left some extra cotton. This is what makes it heavy. Heavy sinkers, couple of sinkers. Organized, bro. Definitely more organized than mine. Trace pouch. And you're actually using your trace pouch. Got some shared traces there. And it's full of traces. Got some bronzy one. See, those are. Hey, here's my like, lively ones, yeah? Yeah, it looks like a nice So you're going to need some there. mullet today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will. No, it's like a neat, yeah. Those, Check those, this off. those are little tubs definitely look Check this off. organized. Oh, is that the three ounce? I'll block this funny price, yeah. Yes, this, bro. But this is a three ounce bucktail. Yo. I'm gonna throw it now. That's a manure. A little bit of leader. Yeah, yeah. That's in that bottom section. Short. And then this top tray. Yeah. So that's the one that's messy. Okay, so that's that's that's, that's, that's what you've been using the last Most of my leader. Yeah, most of my leaders in there, my cottons. Yeah. Just the quick access thing, you know? Yeah, Couple sure. of sinkers, my knife, my scissors, tape measure. And these hoes, yeah. I, I bought when you went to Port St. John's. Mm -hmm. They call them the gilly minkies. Yeah. <laughs> for for trolling in the river and that we didn't even use them. We should have. Maybe we would have caught some fish, maybe, bro. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, so, Jig heads. Sure. So that's it. You know, there's a there's. I think it was Steve Bond that commented and said, Ah, he also takes his old tackle. He's he's trying to leave stuff at home. He's, uh, he's slowly. Do. But you know, the thing is, you 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 tend to say, All right, let's just take it all in case, just in case. Uh, that's it. That's it. But yeah, I like we that idea do. of the. These help. Of the, um, those tubs, yeah. Yeah, they do help. Short. I think I snapped off on my last outing. After, like, two outings with that FG. Yeah. Uh, we caught that big shad on the FG, the yeah. four kilo shad. Yeah. Um, oh, didn't you get that, uh, that little punzi? Got the punzi. Let me put that up quickly for the guys to see. I've still got that clip you yeah. sent me. Yeah. So, uh, little scratch off the work. Scratching trace. Chocker blob bait got pulled flat by this boyki here. Nice little juvenile muscle cracker. That's a first for me. So I'm very, very, very chuffed about that. <laughs> Day is starting to break and well, it's broken already. The sun is still hiding. And that's beautiful this morning. I'm gonna start closer towards the mouth there and work my way left. Sighting man. Oh, just looking at this old bridge. So majestic. And I've gotta satisfy my hunger for the cob today, man. Let's try uh, and uh, the mouth a little bit. Let's see from there. How are you? Shot man. Is it huh? Shots. We went up gardening this morning. Hey? Oh shot man, thanks. What happened there? Let's just fix this up quickly. tangle in front of the eye there. Guy says he's been uh, gardening this morning. Let's see. Yo, couldn't ask for a better morning, huh? It's supposed to be high, yeah. Shot. Yeah. It's going to stay here today. It's going to stay here today. Right down there, yeah? Really, yeah? Really, yeah? It's going for them. Shit, eh? Sure. 100. 
So your name? Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Cheers, brother. What's your name again? Kent. 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 Kent's yeah. fishing. That's the one. Cheers, bro. I'm gonna go slightly left. Too much salad here. What? Nice, man. Yeah, that's the plan this morning. Get a cob. Shot. Flying. Right, yeah. Yeah. Bro, this thing is going. That's such a lucky spot, but every cast weed. And strange enough, you just come, you just come slightly left, slightly left, and uh, no, weed. no weed. Well, less weed, much less. Plenty there, bro. Weird. Let's see. Nice weights on it. That's to the garage, bruh. Right. Yeah. Yeah, nice bank. Yeah, bank over that bank. That's a problem. That's a problem, yeah, and I can't wait here. Yeah. Definitely can't wait here. Yeah. Sounds good. Two ounce you get, yeah. One of the coolest things about this spot is that the river is so close and it's teeming with mullet. Let's go have a cast for a couple of mullets. Look at this bridge. Oh, my dollar. Very lucky. I can't tell you when last I came to Amazon Cool or whatever. Sure. Been a while. Water. Hey, need a boy boy now. Here's our boy boy. What's in John's? Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Today is just all about enjoying the the water's edge. Beautiful day out. Just relax.
small tiny tiny fish really really tiny two of them Come up empty again. Now let's go put a chocker bait. Fishing, eh? you've got to put in the time, got to do your homework, and you've got to work spots. You can't just. Um, well, some guys do get lucky and they catch on their first outing, but uh, we'll definitely be back here at Sandspit. We're gonna try some chocker bait now. See, Darren's got a rod out there. So, yeah. Phone boy, boy. All dead. All dead. <laughs> How's a the coffee there, bro? Sweet. Have a sniff there. Oh, can smell uh, Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> that smells good, eh? Strong. You just need your stove. Then. Okay, shot. You push this in or does it say just there? Yeah. Ah. Shop. And then you're gonna turn it on and lock this off. Yeah. Unlock it. It's locked in position. Yeah. And then turn it on. That's it. Yeah. Easy as that. The fire going? Yeah. Yep. You can see it there. You see that? Oh, yeah, I can see the yeah. vapor. That's it. It's clean, eh? That's it. The frame is clean. Yeah? Clean. It's not really a copy. What are you showing me now? Showing you the, the a version of the FG knot. Sweet. Okay, double loop like that. Take this bottom section here, put it over your baby finger. Just wrap it tight. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, you got your loop here. Yeah. Okay. Then between your forefinger and your thumb. Make a triangle. You can just decide how, where, where the comfortable thing is, you know, how many times to wrap around. So maybe there. So, okay, thumb, four finger. Yeah. Take your leader. Put it under. Put it under there. Lift it up. And then you. Up, twist. Down, twist. Up, First, and then just keep pulling it tight in between your fingers here. Yeah. Down. Keep the tension on. Twist. Up. Twist. I'm keeping the tension on this knot as it's building here. Yeah. Down. Twist. Up. Twist. See, see how it's building there? Yeah. Okay. Down. Twist. Up. Twist. And you just keep going. Like 20 times. Up. Down. Twisting each time, keeping it tight under your between between this thumb and forefinger, yeah. Yeah. Keep it tight there. What's with the mechanic fingers, bro? Squid ink, bro. <laughs> yeah, just teasing. Just, I, I it's just chocker. Same, I had the same thing just now. And then when you're happy with that, just take it off your baby finger again. Take the tag in there. Yeah. Do a half inch knot around both of them. Okay. This is the, then it locks that knot in place. So you take the tag, tag in, 
normal sort of granny knot, you know? Yeah, half inch. Around both, the, around the, the leader and the braid, you see? Okay. It's a bit long. I like to cut that a bit. Okay? Yeah. Now that knot, knot is blocked. So you do about, so now I'm just going to trim this because it's a bit long to handle. Yeah. Okay. So one piece of braid there. Some fly away. Okay. So that's it. So I, I made one half hitch there. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to do another one. I'm gonna do another half hitch. wind maybe I cut this thing too short now okay so once it's locked then you can lubricate yeah and then just pull it tight okay once okay it's tight and then I do a couple more like half two, hitch. three more half hitches, just braid to braid. Right. Okay, braid to braid. One. Two. Make three normal little crannies. Yeah. Three. Pull that tight. Okay, trim off the tags. Now some will say you trim off this leader and then burn that in there so it doesn't come off. Yeah, that holds. So I'm, just, I'm just trimming that. Yeah. I need to get a, a lighter to keep in my bag. I don't have one. Okay. And trim this, trim this little piece off here. And Derek's not around to use his one. Yeah, I need a proper braid scissors, man. Okay, so you see that, like that thing there? Oh, you burn that. It burned that now, so okay. it doesn't fray off. Yeah, and also holds, okay. holds yeah. sort of... And then just double check nice. the knot. Mm -hmm. just double check the knot. There he is. And there's the knot. Easy as that, huh? That's it. Didn't use your feet, your toes. Nothing. Everything's... So it's, the, it's just the loop over, triangle. Yeah. Once you got the triangle, put your leader through. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over. That pulls that knot. Yeah. Lock it around leader and braid. Two, three half inches. Yeah. And then braid to braid, two, three half inches. That's it. Done. Done. FG. Is Mastered. Lucky. Sorted. Unders, bro. Well done. Short, man. <laughs> I'll try it. Had a bite on a shad. So, just switched over to a shad, guys. Let's see what gives, man. Yeah. Maybe we can salvage the morning, couple of, catch a couple of shad. We like her. That'll be really like her. Southwest is starting to pick up. Rather late. Now there is shad, it's coming into the left, let's just pull one out now. Darren! Shad on the bait. Shad! Nice big shad, eh? The looks of it. Ladies just saying the guy got a nice shot on that side. Here we go. On oh, dead. Yay. Size we got shot. Good size shot. Yay. That's a decent. A decent size shot. Is it Lani? Let's start running now. 
Yeah, the lady was just telling me there's a guy got another one and then I was on dead. Okay, it's a nice shirt, right? Decent, eh? I just looked out at the eye again. Oh, with the small rock? Just missed out that eye. Is yeah. There, yeah. Yeah. So, let's just show you the proportion to the box of size there. Definitely made size. Well done to me. <laughs> right size. Check out the story. 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 Check out the the guys must be wondering, Derek's not here and Marco's here. Who's Marco? <laughs> so Marco's uh, Darren's neighbor and a good friend. And he decided to come and check the yeah, Lani is doing their things rise. this morning. People keep to get to this. Strong this one. Huh? Yeah, strong. Strong. Put your teaspoon and stand straight up. Mm -hmm. Go. The Afrikaners call it Moor coffee. <laughs> and before I forget, to my beautiful wife, happy anniversary tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey. You're lucky today. Happy anniversary, oh. Shah. No, that's uh, short. That's why I'm here today. So <laughs> tomorrow I'll be uh, on another mission. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you don't have to tell us what page you're using. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, on a serious note, um, happy anniversary, love, and just uh, many, many more. So, I'm gonna fish to my heart's content today. Zaka. Yeah. What's the, <laughs> the salad, yeah? Seaweed section. Got this bright, colorful orange Berkeley paddle tail on with the two ounce jig. And we're going to light tackle again. Let's chuck this thing for a cop. See. So I'm using that orange, rightly orange. And uh, the rule is the darker the water, the darker the, the paddle tail, the lighter, the lighter the paddle tail. So the water is sort of an olive. And the sun is bright as ever. I hope I'm using the right color here. Yeah? Uh, gentleman to my left is using a white one. And he was on just now with a nice bobby. She landed. Uh, looks like he's on again. Yes, he is. Wow, man. Oh, dropped it. Whoa! Dropped it. So I hope this is the color that they'll still go for. Darren's using a pearl. Let's see, man. Yo! <laughs> Bad luck! So at least they are around. Better late than never. Is he on again? Looks like it. Don't play, man. So they're here. Yeah, they're just here. Yeah. See? It's like a nice one again. Nice one again, eh? Yo! Well done! Yo, oh, that's a decent size cob, eh? Sure. Well done, eh? Short, man.
Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna wait a bit longer until the tide turns and uh, try my luck at those cobbies. And also I'm taking advantage of my full visa today. Uh, that's when your missus approves your fishing trips. So getting quite hungry and I've got that shed from earlier on. So I'm gonna use this bridge or underneath the bridge here sheltered away from that west and I'm gonna cook you up that shed so join me and let's cook up that shed man it's in lock position already what else we got here some oil uh, we got a pan Sure that it's clean. No one sand on your fish. Clean up this fish quickly. Beautiful arms and cooler river. And what a stunning day man. Sure, couldn't have asked for better. Scale the fish already. It. Actually, I'm going to fillet this fish here. Let's fillet this fish. So behind the bone, neck around there, or behind the head. get two lack of fillets out of this ideally you don't want to use your your bait knife <clears throat> but I don't have a choice because if I didn't bring another knife I didn't expect to have this cook up this morning I think I only used it once for a bit of chocker, which is not too bad. Okay, so I'm missing the stomach on purpose, so I don't have to um, puncture anything. Again on this side, behind the neck. close to the bone and just pull away with the knife again trying to miss that stomach We have two nice fillets. Give it a rinse. And we're good to go, man. Carcass of this fish. Something else will feed off that. Thank you for giving your life, Shad, this morning. oil for our shallow fry and then I'm gonna season this fish with an all-time all South African favorite aromat Oil 
chest. Not quite hot. Yeah, we don't want any sand in our fish. So just a bit of aromat. And as soon as that oil is hot enough, or looks like it's hot enough, we'll put it down. Oh no, it's not hot enough. Yes, it is, it's sizzling. We'll put it down skin side. Let that cook up lacquer. <laughs> I'm in my element now. This is what I love, man. Yo, this bridge. Oh, I know how old this bridge is. I'll get the dates for you guys by the time I edit this video. And just to show you where I'm sitting. It's just to the other side of the, of the sea. Yeah. The guy's chucking their tail, puddle, cuddle tails already. Join them just now after some breakfast. Let's go check on our fish. Oh, here's that sizzle. And it's already smelling awesome, man. Want that skin to brown a bit more and it'll be easier to flip it over. Get a bit of a crust on it. That's smelling awesome. Yo, smelling really like that. That's about ready. Oh, golden brown. Let's check our other fillets. Look at this guys. Oh, that's so cool. Something to drink would have been awesome now. Just drop this heat a bit. This fillet's ready to flip over. Looking luck, I mean. It's going to be a tasty meal, this. <laughs> and this one is also just about ready. Turn our stove off. We're good to go. Have a look at this jaw. Oh, awesome. Things come in handy, yeah. Always tend to give you too many when you order takeaway. So don't chuck them away. Keep the spare ones for, for moments like this, man. And obviously, please take your rubbish home with you. Let's taste this boy.
where shared can't go wrong absolutely can't go wrong oh it's delicious Fresh, fresh, fresh. Mm. Just the right. Right salt, amount of salt, right texture. Perfect. Oh, a nice cold. That'd be awesome right now. This fish is absolutely beautiful. Mm. Yo, this was good, man. Really good. the stove and sort our rubbish out Get a cure or to smoothen your rough heels. Come and walk at Sands Pit Beach. Yes, that's my instep is killing me now. This sand is so rough here. Yeah. I'm here at the mouth again. I'm gonna throw across here, yeah? see what gives. Are like toying with me. Just seen one right in the front here now. Must be chasing Violet in the front. And decisions, 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 decisions. Oh, white. Let's check. Just seen one in the front here. Right? See, I, I just seen one in the front here. Okay, right here. Yeah, you see they're coming up to the mullet. Chowing oh, the mullet. Right thing, what we want. Hey! Yeah. You're the bully. Catch one, just come. How's about now? Just attach this plug to my um, quick release clip. In case I want to change that to something else. Let's go throw this GT ice cream and see. Sure, and right about now I could use a drink of water. Eh? I don't know why I didn't carry any water with me today. Okay, let's go flick this thing and see.
having a pleasant outing, some action, and uh, at least we know where the cob spot is now. I will most certainly be back to work this area and to get that cob. So I'm gonna leave it right here for today. And if there's any action, I'll make sure that uh, I bring you along. Otherwise, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, thanks Marco for taking you along. Jaren for the coffee. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification uh, so that you can be notified of new videos. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.